Hey everybody, it's Charles 9 Welcome back for more Final Fantasy V Advance. This is episode f still 41, ep part 2. Okay. Now it's Atomos. He fought this bastard in World 2. This is one of the hardest Final Fantasy V bosses in World 2. But now that we're super powered, it's so easy! Its comet will not be able to kill us. Halicarnassus. Okay, uh, this is not hard. And I, I think he's not a girl, he's a cross-dressing guy. I guess you, you can hit him with a full power rapid fire and a basic attack to kill him. You can turn your characters into frog. But that's not even a problem. I mean, frog status is not a se serious status condition in my Final Fantasy gaming days. Okay, I think this is the final set of bosses. This is the crystals. The four crystals. If you remember in the in World Two. This was the final boss in Moor. I think it's Moor, yeah. Forest of Moor. I forgot the loca the element locations. Just hit him with a non-elemental attack so they won't absorb it. I think the one above is wind, the, the one down is the one down is earth and the one in the back is uh, water. Yeah, it's just aqua breath. It doesn't have any type. Yeah, Acrobat is not considered water, so it will not heal the one with the water element. And also, Bahamut is very good against this. And you don't need to kill them in any order, just kill them at your own pace. They are not like the poor poor Lobos or the, the three pigs, the three colored pigs. Rapid Fire is gonna kill them all. You can also use Blitzblade of the Gladiator class. I um, I did not show it here in this LP. <laughs> I'm not interested in mastering that class. Yes, there are more important classes like Ninja and Ranger, which are more efficient. Oh yes, Cryo killed her. Killed the uh, Final Crystal with a Aqua Breath. Wow. Okay, Melocene. Another best. P I T. Bad girl. <laughs> I think this is the boss in World 3 in which. Uh, well, it's easy. That boss usually has high defense. And not only high defense, it can change, use power to change to change to weakness. And this is catastrophe. Boss in World 3 uh, in the rift. It can remove your floating status, and that's it. It's not hard. And the semi-final, Azul Magia. So this, this is the, this boss is also called the, the Blue Magic Tank, because if I remember correctly, this monster has all the blue magics in the game. Yep, all, all blue magics. He knows it. So if you stay in this battle for a long time, you can just learn about almost all of the blue magics. And he even learns the blue jet magic from you. He has all the blue magics. So if you're missing out on the blue magics, just fight this bastard again, again and again in the cluster of death. He may give you the magic that you want in time. But he casts it randomly, so you need some luck if you want to get the magic that you want. And he's dead. And we learned Doom because he casted Doom to Kurulana. Thank you. Okay. This is the final battle in the Cloister of the Dead. This is Necroprome. You know, this this mouse, this opponent, he, he may look easy because we fought him in the World 3 Rift and we didn't have a hard time. But this was 
This one is a slightly smarter version of the Necrophobe. Hmm. It also depends on your stats. If you're low level, you're gonna have a hard time fighting this. So as usual, take out the those barriers first. And uh, and even if the virus haven't been taken out yet, you can use some reflex dragon defense on some of your characters, like uh, use the dragon defense. What's that again? Oh yeah, dragon uh, phoenix dragon fang. Dragon defense gives reflex regen shell and protect because when the barriers go down. Necroprobe is gonna use, is gonna spam flare at you, and that's not an ordinary flare spell. It's an upgraded flare spell that can deal about three thousand to four thousand damage even when shelled. I don't know. Maybe my game was glitching when that happened. But ever since that happened, and he basically destroyed my Cloister of the Dead streak, I've taken this boss very seriously. Those barrier reflected flares don't do much damage, so I wouldn't worry about that. But the flare that comes from Necroprobe himself is the stronger flare. But it's not a problem because if you have a fast healer, a mage that can dual cast uh, or quick, or you have a mixing, mixing, you have some a lot of items to mix. If you have shell, if you have reflect, reflect is the best. I wouldn't rely on carbuncle's reflect though because the reflect of carbuncle doesn't last long. The reflect, the single target reflect, white magic reflect lasts longer and that's the better reflect that you would want to get. And now, okay, the status of looking at work plus. You're protecting against Flash. Wow, look at the damage. You gotta love the chicken knife. And wow! I. What? Wh wow! Oh man! <laughs> that was easier than expected. Well, maybe my gleam was glitching when that happened. But if you let him. If you don't kill him for a. If you don't kill him fast enough, he'll become strong and deal the super flare damage at you. Maybe I, I was just lucky because I'm using super powered weapons for Bards. But I tell you, if he gets another turn, he's gonna spam flare at your party. And those without reflect will be very unlucky. And ouch, we got one last seizure. Seizure! Oh yeah! We're back! Seal Temple! I see you returned safely. I assume that you that means you have defeated the monster hordes, correct? Then I bestow you this token. Medon of Smiting Yippee Ian Lot Okay, that's a very nice uh, item. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> It's just like the Omega Badge, so that you have something to brag about to your friends that I beat the Cloister of the Dead. And that's it. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> you can keep on collecting that because if you return to the Cloister of the Dead, you can do it again and again. Yeah, unlimited times. You can kill some time in the Cloister of the Dead. Well. We basically beat the main story and the post game. The vibration ceased. Perhaps the room returned to its location. Uh, I'm gonna miss this game. We basically beat everything. So I don't need to make another episode of this. Well, let's rest first. For our own. one last time, let's rest at the submarine. I guess this is my first LP that uh, also included the post game. Because Nagisa the Panic doesn't have any post game. 
or Sonic 2 yeah this is my first game that I defeated the post game in a let's play so yeah there's nothing left to do oh wait I can show you some secrets before we end the episode I'm gonna miss playing this game so this is Karnak this is the area in Karnak there's a character named the statistics guy this is the Karnak area northwest of the map of the merged world might you want to use your submarine go down and there's a secret cave here there's no enemies so don't worry just enter and there's an old man you can talk to it oh hello babies I'm Mr. Cleo you're a psychic friend I know all kinds of things even your secrets oh oh man Battle spot 2067, monster slain 4231. Whoa, <laughs> the treasure's loot is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not too into the game, but at least I beat the post game. <laughs> That's so cute. Bonnie. I heard you returned peace to the merged world, and even took out the real master of the void. I heard that Fuko disappeared, but an NPC character named Yukari was said to meet you at Moor when you beat the post-game dungeon. You better check it out. It's a secret. Secret in Moor? So who, what are we gonna do here? Let's check up. There's a secret. Oh man! Oh, it's you, Carrie. She she thanks us for saving her, and she said she loves us. Wow, there's an anime character secret in Final Fantasy V. I didn't know this. Wow, we just we did it. This is a very nice reward. This reward is super worth it. That's why I'm glad I beat the main story in the post game. Just shows how much I love this game, even though not full fledged because I didn't collect all the treasures. But yeah, I'm very happy that I played this game for you guys and for myself. And this game, I will never get tired of it. I may return to it in the future because the replay value is decent and yeah I will miss this game this is a masterpiece and that's it thank you for watching this is Charles Knight commentaries see you in the next one